Wow. They're hiking the Bruce Trail. Sometimes it's hard to know where you are on the Bruce Trail, but I guess that's it. As you can see, everybody loves to take their bike. I would say in this area, pedal biking is probably more popular than motorbiking. But it's not my thing. I don't like being tired and sore and out of breath all the time. <laughs> Although it probably would do me some good. I still go biking, but I just don't do like long distance biking. When I was camping, I just took the bike to the street. So we're heading down into Kimberly. As you can see, it's uh, we're just entering fall now. It's actually uh, end of September, but I think the seasons are changing late. This year it was a very hot summer, very dry. Uh, it came late and it stayed a long time. So when summer comes late, it stays late. We could be looking at uh, warm November too at this rate. But anyway, the, the leaves are just starting to spark here and there. Just the odd trees starting to go, but they're still mostly green yet. So we by no means have a peak time yet. But I do want to take you there at some point and show you when all the colors peak. We'll come down here and it'll just be like an orange valley. Orange and red and all that yellow. Something else. Hopefully the GoPro can capture this view. It's probably doing it no justice whatsoever. A camera cannot do what the human eyes can do. I'm surprised they haven't developed something that, that looks at things with as wide of an angle as two human eyes, but definitely not. And it's a wide angle lens that you're still just, everything probably looks like it's tiny and far away, but when you're looking at it in real life, it's, it's in your face, it's huge, as we all know. So yeah, you can see it's all pretty green yet. Fall colors have not peaked. Still lots of good riding days. Lots of good riding days. On the fours. Uh. Oh, I wonder what that tent event is all about. Hey, boy, a big old tent up there. I don't know if it's private or what, so... I could poke around, but do I need to? Probably not. Going through Kimberly. Somebody with a nice triumph there. Okay, so now that we've had a bite to eat, we're all filled up. Seeing Webwood Falls made me want to go see a little more of a falls. So this is Eugenia, and it's much more well-known waterfall and scenic spot. So I'm going to bring you down in here and show you Eugenia Falls. Take a little tour. Gonna have to go around everybody. Looks like a big troop coming out.
pretty busy in here. We'll just go take a quick look. So this is Eugenia Falls. Looks like we got lots of people down here today. Give you a quick look. Eugenia Falls. So this trail will go down to further viewing areas and then it eventually just stops, but there's a secondary trail that would go all the way down into the valley if you wanted. See here's the top of the falls, and there's a huge drop on this gorge. Again, this time of year the water is very low, there's hardly any water, but it's still very scenic. Not sure if I can really show you a good view without walking all the way down, and I don't want to waste too much footage on it you really want to get a good view, you come down and see for yourself. I think you can sort of see the falls from here. And it falls, like I say, a good 60 foot drop on these falls. There's people down at the bottoms kind of hanging out. Actually, there's a lady down there with a really skimpy thong. You probably can't see it on the GoPro, but I can. Real eyes prevail. Anyway, she's going in. She thinks she's going to get wet in the water. That is a skimpy thong. Anyway, not that kind of show. It's a family show. It's uh, quite an excursion, actually, to get down there. I'm not sure if you have to hike all the way from the bottom or, or what. So, I'm not even sure. Kids used to try and climb down the cliff. The kids have also died trying to do it too. So you do that at your own risk. You know, anyway, pretty nice. Guess I'll let them have their privacy. Lots of guys take the girls here for a little look at the falls. So there's Eugenia Falls. Caught somebody admiring my bike. <laughs> an older fella. That older fella's like the big Harleys. Anyway, I was gonna say, what is it with people in public toilets? I mean. Those little public toilets have everything you need to do the job properly. And they give you that little urinal on the side in them. A little Johnny on the spots. And yet people still insist on pissing all over the toilet seat. I don't get it. Anyway, we're out of here. There's more to Eugenia Falls than that, but that's good for now, just to give you a quick look. The place is a little too crowded for me right now. I don't like crowded tourist areas. I like nice, quiet, secluded tourist areas, and that's why I spend so much time exploring Grey Bruce to find them. But I guess today's a bad day. Because it's Sunday, and it's beautiful out, and everybody's getting out. Not that I blame them.
Let's head on down Flesherton Way. Thank <laughs> you.